India's third lunar exploration mission, Chandrayaan-3, is poised for launch as part of the fourth operational mission, M4, of the LVM-3 launcher. The mission set off for the moon on 14th July 2023 at 5.05 a.m. EDT, 0.905 GMT or 2.35 p.m. local time on 14th July, from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Hrikota, India, utilizing the medium lift launch vehicle Mark III, LVM-3, rocket. Chandrayaan-3 achieved a successful landing near the moon's south pole on 23rd August 2023, at 8.33 a.m. Eastern Time, 12.33 GMT or 6.03 PM India Standard Time. ISRO is pushing boundaries by showcasing a soft landing on the lunar surface with its lunar module and demonstrating rover exploration on the moon's terrain. This mission is anticipated to be a valuable asset for ISRO's upcoming interplanetary endeavors. Furthermore, deploying a rover and conducting in-situ scientific experiments will mark significant achievements in lunar exploration, effectively bridging the gap between us and the moon. Chandrayaan-3 comprises a domestically developed propulsion module, lander module, and a rover, with the aim of creating and showcasing new technologies essential for interplanetary missions. The propulsion module's primary role is to transport the lander and rover from the injection orbit to the lunar orbit, up to 100 kilometers above the lunar surface. Additionally, it carries a payload known as spectropolarimetry of habitable planetary Earth shape, which is used for studying spectral and polarimetric measurements of Earth while in lunar orbit. Essentially, the propulsion module's core function is to transport the lander module from the launch vehicle's injection orbit until the point of lander separation. The mission is overseen by the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO. ISRO has a rich history dating back to the early days of space exploration, with its predecessor agency founded in 1962 and its inaugural rocket launch taking place in 1963. The establishment of ISRO itself occurred in 1969. In June 2023, just prior to the planned launch of Chandrayaan-3, India also joined the NASA-led Artemis Accords, which are aimed at promoting peaceful lunar exploration involving both humans and robots. While the immediate advantages of these accords primarily pertain to human spaceflight, the data gathered from Chandrayaan-3 could prove valuable for future Artemis missions involving human lunar landings, as noted by the White House. Chandrayaan-3 comprises an indigenous trio of modules, the lander module, LM, propulsion module, PM, and rover. Its primary aim is to develop and showcase innovative technologies necessary for interplanetary missions. The lander is equipped with the capability to perform a gentle landing at a predetermined lunar site, after which it will deploy the rover. The rover's mission involves conducting on-site chemical analysis of the lunar surface during its mobility. Both the lander and the rover are equipped with scientific instruments for conducting experiments on the lunar terrain. The primary role of the PM is to transport the LM from the injection point by the launch vehicle to the final circular polar orbit around the moon at an altitude of 100 km. Subsequently, it will separate from the LM. Additionally, the propulsion module carries an additional scientific payload, which will be activated after the separation of the lander module. The designated launcher for Chandrayaan-3 is the LVM-3M4 which will place the combined module into an elliptic parking orbit EPO, with dimensions approximately 170 by 36,500 km. LVM-3, the operational heavy lift launch vehicle of ISRO, boasts an impressive track record of successfully completing six consecutive missions. This marks the fourth operational flight of LVM-3 with the objective of launching the Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft into the Geotransfer Orbit GTO. LVM-3 has demonstrated its versatility by taking on complex missions, including deploying multiple satellites, carefully planning missions to ensure safe distances among separated satellites through reorientations and velocity addition maneuvers, operating across various orbits, LEO, MEO, GEO, and even embarking on interplanetary journeys. It is India's largest and heaviest launch vehicle, responsible for ferrying both Indian and international customer satellites. 
The launch of LVM3 M4 will take place from the second launch pad SLP at SDSC Shah. On 22nd July 2019, ISRO initiated the launch of Chandrayaan to using a launch vehicle Mark 3 LVM3, which included an orbiter, a lander, and a rover. The plan was for the lander to make a controlled descent to the lunar surface on 6th September 2019, with the objective of deploying the Pragyan rover. However, the lander's mission ended in failure when it lost communication with ISRO and veered off its intended course while attempting to land near the lunar south pole. The lunar south pole area is of particular scientific interest due to the presence of substantial ice deposits. The rugged terrain and variable lighting conditions in this region not only help preserve the ice but also make the task of safely landing scientific probes there exceptionally challenging. This ice could potentially contain stable compounds that would typically liquefy under warmer lunar conditions, offering valuable insights into lunar, earth, and solar system history. Moreover, it could serve as a source of drinking water, hydrogen for fuel, and oxygen for future human missions and bases. The European Space Tracking Network (ESTRAC), operated by the European Space Agency (ESA), played a supportive role in this mission. Through a collaborative agreement, ESA provided tracking assistance for ISRO missions, including India's inaugural human spaceflight initiative, Gaganyaan, and the solar research mission, Aditya L1. In return, ISRO pledged similar support for future ESA missions using its own tracking stations.